Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge, and welcome back to Infection Free Zone, where I think today we have two very clear goals. Goal number one, finish building our weapon factory so we can finally get some more shooty guns, and goal number two, build an antenna so we can get some more people moving in. The only thing is, we're not really that near to completing either of those goals. Down here we can see the weapons factory, but they've only just started building that, so currently it's on six out of 3,000 build progress, so that's going to take a little while to get done so let's not hold our breath for that and over here look we haven't even researched basic antenna technology so we can't even begin building the antenna and we don't have any research points left so we can't start the research to even begin getting that sorted so we're not going to get either of our goals done anytime soon so I think what we'll do is let's get our squads doing some more scavenging shall we however I have just noticed something a little bit curious over here in the corner of the market did we not used to have two buildings there? I'm fairly sure we had two buildings right there. Weren't they little kind of shelter buildings? I'm fairly certain we had some buildings there. Also, the mood is dissatisfied. Why is that? Citizens are angry, your zone has a bad reputation, and will soon probably fall. Minus 18% mood modifier because many citizens do not have their own shelter. I think something's gone a bit weird there, because I'm fairly sure that we did used to have two shelters there. Okay, okay, that kind of changes things a little bit. We need to get ourselves some more shelters, because people do not have anywhere to live right now. They're all kind of running out, look, all the people are kind of running out. If we unpause time a second, yeah, they're all sort of running in from over there, as though they were over here, and then, you know, the building's vanished, and they've had to run out and go somewhere else. Okay, that's a little bit odd. That's a little bit weird. Unless something happened to them, I don't know. But I'm fairly sure that there were buildings there. I'm pretty sure they were shelters. Okay, okay, right. So, slight change of plan. Let's get some more shelters then, shall we? I mean, what's going to make a good shelter? What would make a good shelter that also is quite easy to defend? I'm thinking along here still. Along here. So, this row of shops here. So, between the market and drapery. I'm thinking that building there. Snappy snaps. Oh yeah, that is that is snappy snaps. That's correct. <laughs> That's like a photograph place. It's got the actual shop on it. I didn't notice that. Is that correct on the mall? Raj's beauty salon. The auctioneer. These are mostly correct. Santander. Oh, this is wonderful. Eden Mobility. The parade. Yeah, sort of. We'll let you off again. The parade. Okay. Yeah, there is a little kind of cancer research charity shop just there. Oh, that's quite good. I didn't know it kind of had every single building identified. That's very fancy. Um, okay, so I think then, yeah, maybe just here. That'd be okay. Raj's beauty salon and maybe get that one. Oh, hang on. There's a tiny building there. Body expert. Okay, so what if we get that building changed into a shelter? Would that be quite good? Can that accommodate lots of people? Uh, what do we need for shelters? Uh, that's going to be 14 bits of wood for 10 people. I'm not entirely sure what the current kind of housing capacity is. I'm not entirely sure how we find that out. I don't know where that is. That's a citizen panel. Is there a bit that tells us how many people don't have a house? I'm not sure, but I think that's probably our best bet. I don't want to change these into anything because the zombies can come from that side. And they can climb on the building at the back and we'll be a little bit powerless, really. So we've got to kind of keep things around here. So I think, yeah, that's probably a good idea. So adapt that to a shelter, please. And because we can also adapt the one next door. So another nine people can live there. And hopefully that'll sort out people's mood. That is a little bit weird, though. I think possibly that's not really worked very well. Possibly the game's updated and there's been a bit of a bug or something. I'm not sure. Out of bags of grain. Yeah, okay, yes, we are out of grain because we've just got through, sort of, got through winter. Well, I mean, not just got through, but you know, winter wasn't that long ago. So hopefully they'll be getting grain from the fields, which is going to be good. It might be worth getting another field. Maybe we get another field put down. Maybe that's what we do. That seems like a good plan as well. Let's do that. So do some building and get another field, please. Pop that in quite close to the others. Boop like that. Can we tell them what to grow? No, not yet. It's got to be sort of put together first. Okay, right, that's good. And now we need to move our squads around. So what are you guys doing? You finished scavenging 
and you've found a few bits and bobs. Okay, so run into there, pick up that food, because that could be quite handy. And the other lot, oh, they were down here, weren't they? Where are they? They're in the car. There we go. They're over here. I think they were in here finding use. Oh, look at that. That is many scientific materials and some basic tools as well. Okay, right, you guys then come home. You guys come home. That's going to be good. So you lot drop all those things off into, I don't know, that warehouse. So you drive over there, please. Drop those things off. And then it might be worth you guys in the car nipping out to... There was a thing along here, wasn't it? There we go. So the police station over there. Um, nip over to that and see if there's any shooty guns in there. Because we do need some more shooty guns. I know we're going to make our own. But it would also be quite good if we could find some. That would also be quite useful. Right, they're in there doing some scavenging. You guys drop off the stuff. Brilliant. And um, also, whilst you're here, yeah, you've got the um, you've got the assault rifle. Could you maybe nip into that building and just kill the zombies in it? They're quite badly hurt anyway. But I just think at night time the zombies are going to pop out right here and go boo and then we're going to be sort of surprised by them so if we can get rid of them now that would be quite good and then i think when they finish doing their scavenging we'll drop their stuff off as well and then we can both go into that building and get rid of those zombies because there's quite a lot of them by the look of it oh operator this is big in one of the houses, we killed two extremely fierce infected once they were down we noticed there was a child in there a living, infected child. Must have been no older than three. It ran like an animal and jumped into the sewers before we could get it. For the love of God, if they could multiply, I don't even want to think about it. Oh my goodness. Okay, we'll try to find it. I don't know how. Try to find that kid, keep it alive. I mean, how? How do we try to find that kid? <laughs> I don't know how we do that. I'm not entirely sure. Right, go back over there, please. Um, how near are you guys to finishing scavenging? Ah, you're done. Okay, so you come back over here. So then both the squads are going to be ready, which is brilliant. And then, yeah, we'll go and deal with those guys. And then car squad, so the ones with the shooty gun covered squad then, they can drive off to the police station. But this is what we're going to do now. So pause time for a second. Uh, cupboard squad in there geek squad in there as well please both of you work together to deal with the zombies over here because there's quite a lot of them by the look of it because the sort of red outline and circle is sort of to there which implies they're quite strong so here we go both squads moving in launch the attack and where's the door over there right okay the house is infected yes we know it's got a handy little icon floating over it and a red line we know it's infected right and i think are they all okay? Yes, okay, so everybody in Geek Squad looks okay. Everybody in Cupboard Squad looks absolutely fine. Right, okay, Cupboard Squad, go and get in the car. And Geek Squad. Okay, what we're going to do with Geek Squad is we're going to nip over to maybe here, look. There's a few buildings quite nearby. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do something which people have told me to do in the comments. So a few people said, rather than having to click on a building, one building, and then wait for them to scavenge it, and then tell them to take the stuff back to base, you can queue up orders, like it says down here, look. So if we shift and right click, we can give them great big kind of queues. So I would like them to go to here, and then here, and then here. Do those three buildings, please. So get those three done, and then apparently what they find in those buildings, if they fill up their kind of, um, their sort of carry capacity, they take it back to a warehouse, and then when they're done, they go back out and carry on scavenging. That's how that works, which is going to make things a little bit easier, which is going to be good. So there we go. Right, you lot. Although, hang on a minute. They're not doing anything. Why are they not doing anything? <laughs> go then. Go. Oh, no, they're scavenging that building. Oh, they're doing that building. Oh, okay. I thought we'd done that one, but never mind. Right, cupboard squad in your fancy wheels. How about then we go to here it's not really that far away it's not that far away so um yeah the, this is like a big car park type thing in real life so if we just head to here look you are going oh okay no that's fine round there and along there yeah okay that's good so you guys make it over there it, the cut that is quick <laughs> they are gunning it around these corners that's very impressive right so over you come to here got loads of space in the car so you pull up over here and 
have a little nosy in there, please. That's not where the door is, but okay, the door's sort of more here. But right you are, game. Okay, please find all sorts of wonderful shooty guns, because that would be amazing, because that would just help out a great deal. How is our field doing? Uh, ah, there we go. We've got another house set up, which is good. 13% uh, citizens live in two poor conditions. I mean, what does that mean? There's a zombie apocalypse going on. I mean, I'm trying my best. It's not like we have loads of handy resources around. I apologise for the lack of concierge service and five-star Michelin meals, but yeah, I'm trying my best. We've got some fields, and you've got people shooting at zombies, and you can live inside. I think that's pretty good, but there we go. Right, so building clear. So those guys, there we go. They found four lots of food, which they're going to bring back. We have got quite a lot of food. Got a decent amount of food. So yeah, they'll bring that back, and then they should head back out if we look. They're going back in there. Oh, there's more food in there. There's loads of food in there. Crikey's. Okay, it is going to get dark, though. It is going to get dark. Do you know what? Um, ignore those orders I gave you, because you took a long time doing that building. Come back over here, look. You get into there. And Cupboard Squad, how are you guys doing? You found... Oh, there are two assault rifles. The police, well known for using assault rifles. I assume they've been confiscated. Let's go for that. Right. Get back in the car. No, 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 no. Get back in... I said, oh, they dropped the resources off in the car. I see. That is good. But we want you to get back in the car properly, please. Like that. Okay. And then bring the car back to here. Back to the market square, please. And then you can get inside one of the buildings. And then you can also shoot at the baddies. That is what I think we will do. Although, I am very tempted, very tempted to um, give somebody here. How about you, Lisa White? Lisa, would you like one of those? Would you like an assault rifle? In fact, why don't we just have a full assault rifle squad? So Cupboard Squad can be the assault rifle squad. Although, I would feel a bit bad for, for Geek Squad. Because they're just going to have pistols. And then we're going to get a bit of a schism there, aren't we? Cupboard Squad are going to be going, yeah, look at us with our fancy guns. And Geek Squad are going to be all envious. No, let's not do that. Um, okay, so you guys, um, get out the car, which, uh, that's on you, you're driving the car. How do we get out the car? Um, uh, there we go, right, exit the vehicle. Um, and then you guys, drop that into there, look. So pop that into there. Um... Yeah, we do need to get a pistol over to those guys. Or, you know, better weapons, possibly. But I think for now, that will do. Um, although, I do quite like it when people are on that corner. I do like it there, because that offers quite good coverage. Okay, right, that will do. So let's come out of that and run time on through the night. Of course, it's June, so there's less darkness, which is quite nice here in the UK. That means it's summertime. So, yeah, we should, hopefully be able to get through the night time pretty quickly. Nothing... Oh, hang on. Pause time, pause time. Full moon with clear skies causes the infected to stay indoors. Oh, okay. Do you know what? It's fine. Carry on scavenging. I apologise for interrupting you. Um, yeah, it's a bit over there, so um, go and scavenge over there then, Geek Squad. Uh, oh, no, actually. No, 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 no. Ignore that. Belay that command. You guys... Um, how do we how do we issue them a gun now? How do we issue them a gun? Do we have to out? Oh, do we have to go over there like that? You lot can get back in the car because you've got the two shooty guns right now. Uh, yeah, so you do that look, and then Cupboard Squad can go right back to what they were doing with the police station. So you guys can go right back over there. That's fine. And then Geek Squad, can you then, if you go into a warehouse, how do we do this then? How do we... There's no... I don't know how we kind of issue things out. How do we make sure they've got, like, a decent weapon? How do we do that? Where's the other gun? Where's the shooty gun gone? They're just generic... Are all our warehouses just... It's just generic storage, isn't it? So, hang on, have they nicked one of the guns? Oh, no, they've still got it on their purse. Now, oh, botheration. Okay, right, hang on a minute. No, this is... <laughs> <laughs> this is why I shouldn't be put in charge of things. Right, okay, out you lot come and put all those things. Oh, they're in the car. They're in the car, okay. Right, get the car, drive the car to the warehouse, drop off all the stuff, please. 
There we go. Right, so now the car, I think, is empty. Uh, so, cupboard squad, back in your motor. Wonderful. And then get back over here to the police station. Apologies. So it's slight sort of technical miscommunication issue there. And then you lot over here, we've then got, yeah, an assault rifle. How do we, how do we give that to the other people? How do we kind of issue that out? I'm not entirely sure how this works. So yeah, Geek Squad, I want them to have different weapons now, but I don't know how to do it. I don't know where we put this. How does how do we change the weapons if they've not picked them up themselves? I don't know how to do that game. Any clues? Any clues at all? Um, there's the warehouse. There's the gun. I want to issue the gun to somebody. But I don't know how to do it game. <laughs> Okay, now this is fine. It, it's a it's a challenge. It's a challenge that we will overcome via the method of just lots of hopeful clicking. Right, there we go. I figured it out. So there's an exchange button down here. It's not showing now because we've got the exchange kind of panel up. But if we go and get rid of that look down here, there is an exchange button. So you can say, yep, exchange. And then you pick where you want to exchange things with. So it could be another squad or it could be a building or whatever. So we would like to exchange stuff we have with stuff in the warehouse and then we can drag and drop things like that. There we go. Right. That's a little bit better, isn't it? OK, right. That's quite good. So Geek Squad now have somebody with an assault rifle, which is very exciting. Now, how do we give these guys, how do we give them the additional pistol they would like? Because at the minute, one person has a pistol in that tower and somebody else doesn't. There's two people. One guy is sort of you know, shooting at the zombies. The other guy is just having a lovely look around. He's going down there. Look, there's a zombie. No, not that one. Aim for the other one. Aim for that one there. So, um, yeah, we could do with both of them having sort of proper weapons. But maybe they're not coming out because of the time of day. Even though it's sort of fine, maybe they're not coming out just out of you know, safety precaution type thing. So, OK, we'll check what happens in the day but we do have two spare pistols so they should be able to go and pick one up okay right there we go figured it out yeah it's that button there look right so geek squad come back over to yeah you got food in there so go to there and then when that's done go to there and then there and then there okay that's what we're going to do right there we go got that sorted wonderful and our car is pootling along over here i mean maybe they could find even more shooty guns, which would be amazing. So let's see if they can find anything more useful in there. There are some people. There are some people. Hello. Who is that over there? Uh, okay. Hello, fellow Northamptonian folks. Hi. Uh, Geek's got to grab some food. And now they're making their way down here. And yes, apparently. So they should, when they fill up on their sort of inventory, go back and drop it all off. So if it's too full, they should drop it off. But no, there we go. Look. So they drop it off and then go back and deal with the next. Oh, that's really good. That's very, very good. Um, OK, how about over here? Look, we do medical care, which is going to be done in less than an hour. So if we get that done, let's just fly time on a bit. Right. Everybody else is coming out. Are you? Oh, hello. So we spotted some people probably armed. They could have seen us too. I can't tell if they were friendly. What should we do? Uh, treat them as hostile. Approach friendly or avoid them. I mean, let's be friendly. Let's be friendly here. We're all people trying to survive in a terrible, terrible situation. So let's be friendly. Let's, you know, retain some semblance of humanity here. So, OK, be nice. Approach them as friendly, please. They are only down there. They're just down here on Bridge Street, look. Um, so, yeah, visiting one of the um, one of the local night spots, perhaps. So, um, yeah, that's quite a good little parade of shops to go through, actually. Look at that. There's quite a lot there. Right, so our squad are here. Uh, research centre, 20 minutes away from finishing that research. So we'll get that done. So, boop, sorted. If we leave them for two hours, they'll generate another point of research. And again, I misunderstood how this works. So we pick up research stuff uh, like we did from over here in that library or whatever it was. So we can bring it back. And that gives us points directly. And then when they're not researching anything in the research centre, when they're just kind of idle, they're not literally just sitting about doing nothing at all. They are actually generating more research points 
takes them a little while, but they are working on things. They're reading through books and manuals and doing research or whatever. I don't know. So, um, yeah, they get research points as well, just, you know, from leaving it idle. But for now, where is the antenna stuff? It's one. Three hours and one research point. Do you know what? Get that done. Get that done. That'll be done by lunchtime. Marvellous. That would be good. Oh, hang on a minute. The icon for the guys that we were treating as friendly down here has gone red. Look, it's gone red, which I assume means danger. Bad things are happening. So maybe they're not going to like us. Maybe they're hostile or whatever. I mean, I find that a bit weird. I find that a little bit strange. They're very welcome to join us. Let's be lovers, not fighters. Come and give us a hug instead of trying to shoot us. But there we go. So we'll have to keep our eye on them. We're over here, so Geek Squad are just having a look around these buildings on this corner here. So there's one there to work through, which is apparently a vacant shop. And then on the corner, there is Circus Gold Street. I'm not entirely sure what that is, but okay. So they've gone through there. They found some food. And then this building here is quite big, so that might take a little while for them to work through. So how are the others doing? Are they nearly done? There is what they found. A lot of ammunition. Ooh! And an unknown thing. How do you not know what it is? Surely you found it. Or is it like a mystery item? Is it in a box? Is it locked away? Okay. That's quite intriguing. I don't know what to make of this. They're nearly done, look. They're nearly done. This is We got so much stuff done. And it's not even nine o'clock in the morning yet. This is great. Right, let's just move time on quickly. Let's let them finish the search over here. So we've got plenty of ammunition. Okay. So they're loading up the car with ammo. Lovely. Right, so they're back in the car. What's the mystery item then? Oh, hang on. Now we are ready to build an antenna. Once operational, we'll be ready to receive distant transmissions again and broadcast something ourselves. Oh, yes. We can sort of have people listening to the airwaves and occasionally they might be able to hear, Hello, lovely people. Welcome to the infection-free zone. I am Penge and I am not being eaten by a zombie. Operator, are you there? Okay, right, so now our job is to build an antenna. Right, where was the, um, where was the mystery thing? Where's the, was it just ammunition? Is that what it was? There's so much ammunition, that's a bit ridiculous. <laughs> wow, there's an awful lot of it. Uh, right, you lot, bring that back. Look at the amount of stuff we might get from these. Look at the amount of things. That is a bit bonkers, isn't it? Um, okay, so bring that back home, please. So drop that off. How are we looking for storage space? We are filling up storage space. I was thinking about this. I was pondering what we could do uh, with our setup here. Just, you know, I wasn't recording. I was just thinking about it idly while, I don't know, having a cup of tea or whatever. Um, and I did think, would it be worth investing quite a lot of time and resources in turning, say, that building there into a warehouse? And that would just see us through for warehousing forever because that would be massive, that would be huge. And then again, if we are going to get, say, some gates over here, look, if we could get some metal gates in to kind of barricade that bit off, then it would be secure, it would be safe. The zombies can't come in from that direction because there is another huge building here. So I do wonder if that's what we should do. And then potentially even we could then decommission these as warehouses and turn them into something else. They could become, you know, shelters or whatever. So it might be worth doing that. Um, we'll have a look at that in a second. Hang on, what can we do in terms of research? Weather forecast unlocks the weather center. Who's in please forecast future weather and meteorological events. <laughs> Get some weather people in. Uh, medical care. Okay, that's good. We've got a med bay. Uh, so we can build one of those now. Chemistry is... That unlocks fertilizer, synthetic fuels and nitrocellulose powder. Oh, gunpowder. Okay. Uh, we've got pistol production done, rifle, shotgun, snipers, construction, a tool factory. That might also be a good idea. But food wise, is it worth getting, say, something like this? Food preservation. We could build a cannery. Um, I think we've only got three points. Let's leave it until we've got four. Let's get four points and then we'll see what we can do. Um, OK, so how about then if we look at turning that into a warehouse. It would hold almost 6,000 units of stuff uh, at the moment. What does that hold? That holds uh, 865. So I think if we turn that into a warehouse, that would keep us going for a very, very, very long time. So we could move. And that's all of our storage, isn't it? 
hang on, no, 206. That's that's what it's storing out of 865. Oh, I was looking at the condition. Uh, I know I was looking at the condition. Oh, no, in terms of storage space, we're fine. Oh, OK. I mean, maybe in the future we could do that. It did take quite a lot of wood. We don't have anywhere near that amount of wood. No, I looked at the wrong thing. There we go. No, so I was looking at that. No, it's this look. So we're about, what, quarter full in terms of storage? That's fine. That's OK. We can deal with that. Um, right. You guys have finished over there. I mean, maybe sort of cover this little block of houses here. Do this kind of block of things. So, um, yeah, go there, please. And there. And there. Bring back much in the way of food. Because it looks like there's a lot of food around there. And that would make sense because these are kind of eateries and such like around here. But there we go. Right. They can work on that. The car is flying back over here. We do need to get a med bay. We've unlocked a med bay. I think possibly it might be worth building one now. Where would it be? Um, here. So a med bay. So it needs a bit of wood, bit of metal. Uh, oh no, we're okay for metal. It's actually wood where we're lacking. But okay, so what building would make a good med bay? Where are we going to treat everybody? I mean, here, look. Staff one. Okay, no, maybe not there. Maybe on the corner. Maybe on the corner there. So we can have three people and it can store eight things. So eight medicine, I would imagine. Yeah, maybe let's do that. Let's pop it onto that corner. I think the others are a bit small. Everything else is a little bit small. So yeah, if we put it... I mean, that building is also okay. But maybe that could be another factory or something, possibly. It is a little bit out on its own, though. That's the only issue. Do you know what? We'll put the med bay. Just that the building is too small for adaptation. Really? It needs to be a certain size. Oh. Oh, okay. The med bay has to be quite big. Uh, select an abandoned... Hang on, what? The building is too small for adaptation. But then you can pick that one. And it says select an abandoned building for adaptation. I'm going to click it because I don't think that's quite right. I'm going to press that. Right. Okay. That's... Yeah, I don't quite understand what was going on there. But never mind. So we'll get a med bay. And then also... Where's the antenna? 20 metal to build an antenna. Um... I mean, let's build it here. Let's pop it just there. Uh, yeah, there we go. Boop. Get an antenna as well, please. And we are looking okay for the completion of the arms factory. It's taking a little while to get it done. In fact, we are going to need some basic tools to get that done. Uh, we might need to unlock a tool factory. That might be quite useful. Right, they've dropped off all the stuff. Also, you've parked the you've parked the car on the field. <laughs> <laughs> do not park the car on the field. That's that's not the done thing. We shouldn't be doing that. Um, I did notice over here, there is a building which, yes, yeah, like a parking garage type thing, um, but it's got fuel in it. So yeah, let's nip over there, nip over to the mare hold, and we'll see what we can find in there. It's weird having like knowledge of where these places are. I don't know every single shop or two, but I know that's the mare hold car park because I often park there when I go into town. So yeah, if you could find fuel in there, that would be quite handy. Hang on. Oh, okay. I feel like I should have paid more attention to this. Did it tell us they were fighting? I possibly overlooked it because I was talking about fuel and parking. Um, okay. Those guys that were down there are now attacking us over here. Right. Sorry, you folks. Can you get back in the car really quickly and come down here and help? Get down here. Put it in you know, top gear and fly down to here, please. Because our guys might be in a spot of bother. We've got Dennis Price taking some down. Oh, no. No, no. Uh, no, we're good. Stand down. Stand down, Cupboard Squad. I think Geek Squad have sorted it all. Back you go to looking around the car park. And they've dealt with the baddies over here. Um, okay. They are coming back. Oh, because they've got loads of stuff. There's, there's three pistols in there. I assume from the people that we just wiped out. Which does mean... I think. Have they got their pistol? Yes. So if we bring those three pistols back, combine it with that one pistol there, that does mean that we would have four firearms, which means we could make another squad. We could have three squads, you know, at night time shooting at zombies, and in the day doing some scavenging. I think once those are back with us, that's what we do. So run time on nice and quick. Let's get this done. Grab all the things... You appear to have stopped. 
Okay, go back over there. Don't worry, we'll micromanage it for you. It's fine. And we have our arms factory up and running. Okay, so how do we tell them what to do with this? Like, we're going to make pistols. That's okay. I mean, it's a bit unfortunate that literally the second before the arms factory was done, we've just found some pistols. But never mind. So um, maybe right now we don't do this. How do we not do this? How do we say no? <laughs> okay, we can't just change it because, of course, we can't. We don't know how to make those yet. Um, I mean, how do we... Do we just have to bring it down to zero? Okay, so we don't want to make any pistols right now. Thank you. Okay, we just we got that done. So, hooray, it's finished. And no, we don't want that anymore. Um, I think maybe it might be worth getting another field because, yes, we've gone through all of the wheat and yeah they are working their hardest to produce lots of wheat but it would be quite good if we got another field so let's get another field drop that in at uh, again like a sort of a stagger kind of angle thing and now we're out of basic tools okay i think then we're going to need a tool factory start research on that please because without tools we can't build things so yeah let's get that done uh, right unpause time you lot have got quite an armful of stuff. Okay, so go and put that back. And then... Uh, here we go. Look, we'll micromanage you. Don't worry. It's fine. Go and grab the other pistol. Go and do that, please. And then... It is getting a little bit late. So possibly... Yeah, everyone's just run home, look. Everyone's come in. Because uh, when sun set... Ten past seven. So yeah, they'll come in about half an hour early. But that's okay. So you guys run back there. And they are still working their way through here because it is quite a big building. There's going to be many things. A few lot also get in here. And then, oh, they put the lights on. Look, oh, hang on. Time was going a bit quick then. Um, and then you drive back over here. So come back over here. Wonderful. And then, um, yeah, drop off the fuel maybe. Drop the fuel off. So boob and they park the car and they're in there. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm okay with that. That's fine. I'm fine with that setup right now. So we'll wait until the morning. And then when morning comes, we will get ourselves another squad. And then we'll have three squads. We'll have Cupboard Squad, Geek Squad. And then we need another squad name. I don't know what we're going to go for. Penge Squad? I don't know. Betty Squad. We can have Betty Squad and Bernard Squad. I think we can have four squads in total. Okay, right. The zombie dogs are being sorted out. Now they're coming round here. The towers. The towers do quite a good job of getting them, getting the dogs before they even get near us, look. They eventually reach the tower and then they just kind of stop. So, right, that wasn't so bad. So it's currently, I mean, yeah, we're not that far away from sunrise. We've only got, what, like an hour and a bit now. So we're sort of doing okay. So here we go. We'll get this done. Oh, we can't finish the field because we're out of tools. Okay. Right, here we go. You lot, back in the car, please. Yep, there we go. And you go back over there, because that's going to have fuel. And fuel is good for vehicles, obviously. And then you lot, carry on. Where do we want to go? There's some buildings here which we haven't been to. So there, there and there, please. So you cover those three. In fact, Geek Squad. Also do that one, that one, that one, if you can. Do all of those. And then... I think we create a new squad with one person in it. Okay, can we have another person? Replenish? Um, oh, we haven't got any people left. Oh, okay. Oh, because they're all building and doing stuff. Oh, okay. Right, no, we'll hold on that then. Hold on that. Because at the minute, squad three isn't really a squad. It's just Stephanie Foster. It's the Stephanie Foster army going on. So is that you in there? Okay, you're hanging around in the HQ. You wait in there for now. And then eventually, when people finish building something, we'll, um, we'll be able to assign more people to join you. Operator, we saw something grisly, but potentially useful. The infected are eating their own. We saw some of them inside a basement they couldn't get out of. They were corpses of other infected obviously eaten. Leave them, try to kill them. I mean, the idea is to get rid of them. We can't leave them because then they might come back out later on and eat us. So try to kill them as best we can. Shoot them down. Okay. Oh, there's a rude word there. Gosh, they saw us, it says there. <laughs> Crikeys. Okay. Uh, right. Carry on scavenging, please, Cupboard Squad. Carry on. 
Um, and then, yeah, okay, let's get one of these construction projects done. There we go, building adapted. So we now have ourselves a med bay, which is good. And it's got nine beds. That's a lot of beds. Brilliant. Okay, so now can we replenish this? No, <laughs> we've got no people. Uh, there's 11 people on food prep. Let's bring that down and then replace. There we go. Look, so these people were making food. Emily Thomas, Philip Howard and Grace Powell were working on other stuff, but now they're not. Now they are here ready to do some shooty shootings. Um, we appear to be... Why have you not grabbed a pistol? Uh, okay, run over here, look. Because, yeah, Grace doesn't appear to have a weapon, even though there is a pistol over here in storage. Um, for some reason... Why have I sent her there? We could probably could have done it from there. Just it, The pistol's over here, right? Don't question it. Um, okay, like that. Into there. And then you... Why is it red? <laughs> why is it in red? I'm very confused. Why can't she use that? Oh, no. It's fine now. It's fine. Maybe she was learning how to use it. Maybe she didn't know how it worked and she was holding it the wrong way round or whatever. And I was like, no, 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 no. That, this way round, this way round. That's the bit we should pull. Bullet comes out of this end. Shooty, shooty happens that, in that direction. Okay. Right. So squad three. So, I mean, I know none of them are called Betty or Bernard, but I think we have Betty squad and the fourth one can be called Bernard squad. You know, in honour of the geek covered heroes. So, uh, right. You lot. Betty Squad, off on your first grand adventure. I think maybe... Oh, oh, look. We could get them to cover all these. Just go down that little kind of parade of shops. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Go down there. Got plenty of time. Got loads of time to get it done because it's only just gone eight in the morning. So yeah, there you go. That's your first job. Anytime you like. <laughs> Guys. Guys. Where have they gone? Do you want... Are you going to go? No. Okay, I don't fully understand the queuing thing. Uh, okay, uh, right. Okay, right click there. Are they now going to move? Yes. Okay, so we have to give them an initial order and then right click to queue up following orders. Okay, I think I understand that. Um, these guys have found not very much, but that's okay. And then over here, they have found... Some more fuel, which is kind of what you'd expect from a great big kind of parking thing. So, yeah, OK, wonderful. Things are looking good. Chief, the antenna is now operational. Let's broadcast an invitation as a test or just call the squads back to HQ. I mean, yeah, I don't want to bring people back. I don't want to bring people back. That would be silly. OK, let's start broadcasting. How? How do we do that then, Kay? <laughs> do we click on the antenna? Um, no. I don't know how... Send an invitation. Oh, hang on. Press left mouse button on the radio icon. Lower right edge of the screen. Oh, down here. This thing. We can do something with it now, can we? Oh, there we go. Um, yeah, we don't want to bring the squads back because that's a little bit annoying. Although, that's going to be really good now, from now on. When it gets to you know, late on, we don't have to go, right, let's go and find them and find them and bring them back. We can just press that button. Um, yeah, do an invite. To all survivors, this is the infection-free zone. Reporting from Northampton Market Square. We provide food and shelter. Join us. Yeah, come along. It's going to be great. It's going to be fine. Um, possibly some more housing. Oh, hey, is anyone there? We're looking for help. We are tired of this endless wandering. We don't have much, but we can do a lot. How many? How survive? Invite or decline? Just invite. Invite. Um, please feel invited. Thanks. It means a lot to us. You can be sure that will not be a burden. Um, okay, address. Uh, where are you? We're at Hester Street. Will you come for us? Um, okay, hide yourself. So hide yourselves. We'll send somebody to pick you up. Okay, I don't know where Hester Street is. That might be quite a long way away. Oh, crikey, it is a long way away. There are some baddies over there. Some baddies there. Um, the car would probably help, however. The car is going to help. Okay, right. So when they finish doing that, which hopefully won't be too long, they're on about 80%, um, then yes, we can get them to go and pick up the survivors. And that's more people. That's more people working in more buildings, doing more jobs, which is all very good. So Betty Squad searched all of those buildings <laughs> on their first trip out and they found nothing at all. Bother. 
Okay, never mind. Um, could we find, possibly, a building with tools in? Because that would be useful. That would be quite handy. Is there a sort of a, a factory around or something? It's not really going to be in the middle of Northampton, is it? It's going to be sort of shops and eateries. But, um, okay. Uh, where was it actually? Oh, no, there. There. Tools. Just there. It's just up the road from us. So it's not that far away. But where was that other car? There was a car. Um, okay, Betty Squad, you run over and get us another pair of wheels. Set of wheels. Not a pair of wheels. Two pairs of wheels. Get us another two pairs of wheels, which makes up, like, you know, automobile type thing. And then we'll have another car or a truck or whatever it is. And then we can drive around a bit. And we can have two squads in vehicles. And then, yeah, I think maybe we could head over here, look. Because there's sciencey stuff there and there and there and tools over here. So, yeah, I think maybe that's where we go next. But let's pick up that car first. You, are you guys nearly done? Come on, 88%. I want to go and pick up the survivors. I know we're out of basic tools game. That's fine. It is known. Uh, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100%. Okay, right. They're in the car. We've got... Uh, I assume when we pick... Hang on, is that them? Is that them? Guys, hello. It's You're okay. <laughs> we told you to hide. Enemy spotted, it just said there. Uh, oh, no. Over here. There are baddies. There are baddies shooting at this, guys. Oh, no, this is bad. Don't run over our friends, please. <laughs> Please don't run them over game because we can't put the brakes on now. So boom. Okay, do a bit of a handbrake turn. Come back over here. Shoot at those troublemakers because there's baddies here, look. So yeah, let's provide some cover for our buddies so they don't get killed. So hi, we're here. We're going to shoot at you. and Get out, look. Get out of the car and all of you shoot at these lot. There we go. There was another person, but that's fine. Right. Um, Get back in the car. You lot get in the car. There we go. Uh, come down to here, for example, to drive in front of them, and then get at... Hang on a minute. Sir, we found some trails. Looks like a few cars passed through here recently, but what's more curious, one of the vehicles must have had tracks instead of tyres. Maybe it was some kind of bulldozer or a tank. Okay, interesting. Ah, that's where the other car is. They found the other car, but apparently through the middle of Northampton... People have been driving tanks around, potentially. Or tractors. I mean, a tractor would be quite useful, actually. There was mocking it, but no, that might be quite a handy thing. Um, you guys have finished your scavenging, so it's getting late. So you lot run back over there. In fact, put you lot um, in the headquarters. Go into... In fact, no, but that side, they cover this street as well. So you guys go there. You lot pop out of the car and have a chat with these guys. So go and say hello are these the ones that we were supposed to be talking to? Please stop running away. I think maybe they're the ones we're supposed to be rescuing. <laughs> I think it's them. I thought we told them to wait. Hang on, who's that? Oh, it's stuff we can pick up. Oh, hang on a minute. Yeah, we'll have that. Drive back over here a second. Park the car right next to it. And if it comes to it, we can get in the car and run away. Um, yeah, can you, can you pick these up? I don't know how to scavenge these things. Uh, on my way. Yeah, so pick up that. Yeah, here we go, look. They just walk over them and pick them up. That's even more shooty guns. At the point where we've built a gun factory, we now find loads of weapons. Isn't that brilliant? Okay. Uh, and then bring that car back. Drop off the fuel, in fact. And then, where's the other car? Where is it? Right, you guys in Betty Squad. The car does have... Oh, it's got all sorts in. Oh, it's got a lot of metal in it. Yes, that is brilliant. Okay, bring that back and park up over here right so we've got one squad back to help defend the others are making their way back there we go brilliant so you can come back no tools i don't think no tools but never mind that's okay they can stay in there look in fact you know what you've got lots of shooty guns you've got the big kind of assault rifles so you guys go into the corner and you lot betty squad you can go over there there we go look and you can drop your stuff off right Okay, so I assume oh, I've not dropped the, I've not emptied the vehicles. <laughs> I know one vehicle is. Oh no, they've done it. I think they've been emptying the vehicle. Right, so we've picked up quite a lot of stuff. We've now got got no wood, 
but we do have a decent pile of metal and some bricks, but no tools. So tools is going to be the issue. Right, okay, so let's get through tonight, shall we? Get through August. So what have we got to wait for? Um, oh no, we don't know, because hang on, we need to get the sunrise of the next uh, the next day slash month, don't we? So it's, as far as we see it, it's going to be day 18. But yes, yeah, so it goes into a different month. So when does the sun rise in September? 5.45. Okay, so not long at all. Not that long at all, in fact. We're doing quite well at, um, at dodging the zombies, I think. We're doing quite a good job. The weather forecast looks a little bit grim. Right, horde spotted. There we go. Possibly shouldn't have said anything. Although, I'm not sure where. Down there. Oh, that's fine. They're going down there. We don't have to worry about that game. Don't stress us out with that. If they come over here, then yes, it's a problem. Oh, a bit like this, look. But, tower there. These guys here. I don't think the zombies stand a chance. I, they're all dead before they even got near to us, so it's fine. A few people in the comments did say that when it gets to night time, if we have a lot of zombies, we should put some of our people in a car... And then, and this is what people said, and initially I didn't understand it, they said, and then you just kite the zombies around. And I didn't know what that meant. I was like, what do you mean? What's kiting the zombies? Is that some sort of thing? But apparently if you drive the car around, the zombies go for the vehicles because they're people not in a building. So I think, ah, easy pickings. So you can just drive around in the car. The zombies follow the car, a little bit like these sort of, you know, the trail on a kite, and then everyone else can just pick them off as you're just driving around and doing donuts or whatever. Which I suppose, yeah, does sound quite a good idea. So if it does get a little bit kind of, um, a little bit difficult to handle at one point, we just put some people in a car and just, you know, do some donuts and then it'll all be fine. That's what we're going to do. Right, there we go. Brand new day. Nobody can do anything on that field, which is a bit of a shame. Horde spotted. Oh, over there. Oh, they're not going into the groves in the centre, are they? <laughs> Don't allow them into the big building. Because that would be bad. They just sort of wander. Oh no! Ah, no. Okay. There's a big storm, which means the infected can walk during the day. Okay. We have a day of remaining here, I think. We'll send one squad out. We'll send cupboard squad out. Hello, new people. Hi. I thought we told you to hide. I thought we told you to wait, but you've made your way here, which is good. Right. Hello. How are you? Um, new citizens arrive, which is good. They live in two poor conditions. What do you want us to do? What do you want us to do? I did notice, actually, over here, it does say house. Require research to unlock advanced woodworks. I imagine if people have actual proper houses rather than shelters, that would make them happier. Where is... Oh, there, look. There. So it's for research, which we don't have. But yeah, that means that possibly... We could build housing. There you go. It improves the quality of life of citizens, positively affecting their morale. I wonder if to maybe try to make sure that people remain happy. I mean, they're satisfied at the minute. They're okay living in Northampton in a zombie apocalypse. But if we could make them happier, does that give them a kind of a mood effect? When they were a bit grumpy with us, it meant they worked 20% slower. So maybe if they're happy with us, they work 20% quicker. That would be kind of sensible logic. So possibly we look at getting that done. How are we doing over here? Uh, in about three hours, they will have picked up some more research. Okay, what we'll do is, Geek Squad, you can remain here. That's the plan. You lot stay here and look after the base. And then we've got Betty Squad. So Betty Squad can nip out into the truck. And then we've got Cupboard Squad in the car. Okay, so you lot get into your things, and then Betty Squad in the truck. Where were those research things? Over here, look. So if you head over to there, you might go past some zombies, so we'll have to keep our eye on that. Um, but if you can pick up all that kind of researchy stuff, that would be amazing. And then, hang on a minute, we'll go and follow Betty Squad in a second. You guys get back over... Um, Scavenging process. Oh, oh, that's done. That's done. Oh, okay. Um, right, where do we want you guys to go then? Where do we send you? To some sort of other big building would make sense. Uh, I mean, do we have any other kind of buildings where there might be weapons or firearms or whatever? Maybe we'll send them next door. Send them. In fact, there are, there's tools there. There's tools there. Let's send them over there, look. Um... 
Uh, this is going to be interesting. So there's a horde of zombies here coming toward us, but we are in a car. So I assume we're going to run them over a little bit. So, oh, and we zombie skittles. Okay. <laughs> and here comes another car. It's your turn now. And boom, zombie skittles again. Um, there are a few of them coming this way, but now they got bored. I oh, know they're not got bored, but now we've gone inside a building and they have got fed up. Okay, they're just going to attack this building because they're angry. Swarm incoming. Again, I don't know what we do with that information. What? Okay, fine. That's nice, I suppose. But okay, what's binging at us? Uh, oh, is that where the antenna is? That might be the antenna. Um, yeah, okay, back we go to here then. So yeah, you guys keep an eye on the base. Geek Squad, yeah, sort of the home guard. And you two... Just, yeah, find all sorts of useful stuff. Tools in here would be amazing. Tools would be really useful. Um, but then, yeah, scientific materials also worth getting. And, yeah, we can pick some up from here and here as well. Because, yes, we have bits of Northampton College over there. So, yeah, we'll grab some stuff from there. I don't know what happened. There is a building on this corner. Um, yeah, that's the deco, isn't it? That's like a big sort of, uh, big sort of theatre type thing. But that appears to have fallen apart for now. But never mind. <laughs> That's not there anymore. It was a terrible thing that happened. But, you know, the zombies did it. We'll blame the zombies. Oh, you zombies. Oh, horde spotted. Okay, whereabouts? Is that near to home? Yes, it is. Okay, be on standby, everybody. Be on standby. We've got a horde coming in. Come on, then, Geek Squad. Geek Squad and towers. Oh, oh, there's more horde coming in. Okay, they're not going for the building on the corner, which is quite good. But, yes, we do need to... Um, Oh my goodness me, there's... Okay, there are... Okay, right, we've got... We, we need everyone back here. Can we get everybody back, please? <laughs> I think they're already done. They've finished looking in that building. They found three sort of uh, researchy things. Okay, so you lot, come back over here and help out. Because this is this potentially could go quite badly. So you come back over here, please. The, the quickest you've ever gone. Drop, put your foot down. There's no speed cameras or anything. You'll be absolutely fine. So they're going to gun it over here. So can we do this sort of kiting thing that people told us to do? Can we do that? So we go, hello. Um, no. They just ignore it entirely. We can drive around though, look. We can shoot from the car, I think. I think we are sort of firing at them from our car. But is it dangerous? Oh, right. Okay, no, it's dangerous being in the car. Because they're attacking us. Oh, I see. Now, look. We get their attention. And then we drive around. And then they follow us. Right. Okay. And there's one zombie left. And brilliant. Now no zombies left. Okay. <laughs> right. That wasn't quite as effective. But never mind. But we do now have six research points. So where do we put these? I'm very tempted to get that. Let's do that. Advanced woodworks. We shall spend four of our points. Six hours. And then we can have nice houses. And people can be a bit less grumpy. So, yes, yeah, start that research, please. That leaves us with two research points, which is not many. But you lot in your truck come back over here. And where was it? Just there. Go into that building and pick up even more research. I've not clicked the right button, have I? Betty Squad. Now, hang on a minute. Which is Betty Squad? Uh, that's Cupboard Squad. So, yes, Betty Squad. Um, you're not in a car. You're not in your car, I don't think. Are you? Where's... Oh, now I'm confused. Where's Betty Squad? Who's that there? That's Betty Squad. Oh, they've dropped the things off. Okay, right. Get back in your car. There you go. Yes, get back in your vehicle. And then go back... In fact, no, it's late. It's late. No, okay, no, don't do that. Abandon that. You get into that warehouse, please. You guys stay over there. And now we just need to bring back... Cupboard Squad. Come on, Cupboard Squad. You're taking a very long time going through this building and you appear to find completely nothing at all. So, yo, know, this isn't very good, is it? So come on, cupboard squad. Oh, hang on. We have zombies over here back at the base. They're attacking the medical building by the look of it. Um, OK, geek squad, can you run round and get... Oh, OK, hang on. The time was going a bit quicker then. Right. You get into the med bay, which is appropriate because you look a bit injured. So that's where you need to go. Right. So they can finish that off. OK. I mean, we are inadvertently making use of the med bay. Dennis and Ryan and Jerry took a bit of a knock there running to defend the med bay and now they're in here healing up. Which I suppose does make sense. Uh, right. Yeah, they kind of the zombies came around that corner. We need like a gate here or something. 
to manage that bit. Uh, where are they over here? Have you still not finished? 91% of the way through. Come on. <laughs> Come on, I don't like leaving you out here at night. It makes me nervous. It makes me nervous, but okay, right. We'll keep an eye on that there. 100%. Building clear. They found nothing. In that entire massive building, which promised tools and researchy stuff, was it? They found nothing at all. Well, that is ultimately very disappointing. Um, maybe get back in your car and then head out to that one and just have a search in there so you can find some researchy materials. We seem to be okay back at base. If you're needed, we can always kind of run you back nice and quick. Horde spotted. Kind of over there, that's fine. Okay, so hopefully they can find some more research stuff. There is some food and ammunition down there as well. But okay, right, let's run time on. Let's get through the night and we'll see what Cupboard Squad can find over in that building. Okay, they found three lots of scientific material, which is quite good. So we've sent them next door to hopefully find a similar thing. That would be quite useful. That's going quite quick as well, which is good. And I don't think we've seen that much in the way of zombie activity just yet, he says, as a big load of zombies appear. But we do have our people on that corner now. We do have people up there. Yeah, we need to get some of those gates set up. We need some gates kind of along here if we could. Because the way I see it, we're not going to expand in that direction. I kind of see us kind of coming this way more. So expanding down here, taking maybe this block of buildings possibly. So we can fit all sorts in there. Loads of useful things. And then say putting a door just here or something. So having a gate across here, which means we can use those two buildings. Where did that horde go? Over there. Um, and then using that maybe, and then using those. I don't really see us going in that direction. So possibly, if we could put a great big door there, that would be quite useful. That would be quite a handy thing. Uh, right, we are doing some shooting at them. The towers are shooting as well. And the zombies are being picked off. There we go. Shoot at each shoot. And down we go. Okay, lovely. Marvellous stuff. Well done, everybody. More zombies dealt with. And they're doing some scavenging. They're nearly done. So I think maybe by the time they are finished, it'll also be time for the sun to come up and everyone will come back out and do some work. Okay, right. So that building was clear. So what did they find in there? They found another three researchy things. That's very good. That's really good. And there's plenty of room left in the car for some other stuff. Go and look in that tiny building. Go and look in that little kind of house there. There might be a bit of food in it or something. I don't think it's going to take that long. Incoming transmission. Operator. We found an abandoned farmstead. Oh, it was well worth looking at. There are some chickens running around. They seem to have gone wild, but maybe we can breed them if we make a proper place for that. Take them. Let's hope they're not zombie chickens. Um, okay. Build a barn and produce meat. Okay, right. We're going to have a barn. Oh, that's going to be fun. Okay, <laughs> right. Good. Um, have they done the searching? Yes, they have. Okay, that's quite good news. I mean, you're out here. Uh, where else could we possibly go? There's loads of fuel over here. Again, that's a, like a parking thing. Um, is there anywhere we can get either more scientific material? There's another car. There's another car over there. Um, let's go over here, grab food and more scientific material because that means we can get more research done. Um, and then back over here, how are we doing with our advanced woodworks thing? It'll be done, what, by sort of the middle of the day-ish? Okay, right, that's okay. We'll, uh, we'll look at that in a bit then. So uh, I think then for now, uh, you lot, you can heal up possibly. Uh, so Betty Squad, get back in your car. And yeah, we'll just go and do some more sort of exploring and scavenging and stuff. Let's see what stuff we can bring back. How are we looking for warehouse space? 173 out of 865. Absolutely fine. So uh, actually, do we not want to... Did we do the tool thing? Did we do the tool thing? Oh no, we didn't unlock the tool workshop. Okay, we won't do that then. Uh, yeah, so if we could find a place with tools, and it doesn't really matter where it is because we have the car. So we can drive to it in the car and hopefully pick up some tools. Um, is there a way that we can sort of 
filter out everything and just focus on what we're looking for? Is there a special kind of overlay thing? Ah, right, there are some tools in that very long building there. However, I think there is an overlay which could have helped us a bit there. What have we got? So expedition view. Oh yeah, what does that do? That, oh, that makes it a little bit easier to see what's going on. It just makes it a little bit easier to look at the sort of the overhead view of things. Okay, yeah, that's fine. So we'll head over there and grab some tools. That might be quite a handy thing. And then we can finish that field off and then maybe get some more food on the go. I mean, not now because it's coming up to winter, but you know, in the future we can get another field up and running. So I think, yes, let's go back down then to here and Betty Squad, go and grab some tools from that building, please. Okay, Cupboard Squad have found many, many things. So much stuff they can't carry at all. So let's get them back home, drop off all the stuff. That's a lot of research. We can do a lot of researchy things with that well done Cupboard Squad. So bring all that back, please. Let's bring that back home. I don't think we need to do any research to build a barn, do we? Is it in here? Um, oh no, maybe we do. Maybe we do. Can't click. Select an abandoned burner for adaptation. Okay. So, oh, so barn is greyed out, but we can build the barn. Okay, I think we'll do that next time. That's what we're going to do next time. But here we go. So they're offloading the car. We've now got 11 researchy point things, which is brilliant. That's going to get so much done. That's going to get a lot of good stuff done. Um, and then, yeah, cupboard squad. Where shall we go with you next? Let's go somewhere slightly further afield because we can. Um, I think maybe, um, how are we doing for fuel, actually? Do we have a lot of fuel? Um, where is fuel in this list? 15. That does seem like quite a lot. That seems like an okay amount of fuel. Uh, okay, right, that's all good then. So where do we go now? Where shall we travel to in our little car? Oh, look at that. That is very interesting down there. There's a lots of little kind of round storage things. I believe... If I'm looking at the map correctly, whereabouts is that? That is the Carlsberg Brewery. So that's where they make Carlsberg, I think. It's just there. So yeah, there we go. We've got all the kind of the brewery set up there with all the little kind of things that you could go and scavenge if you wanted to. I was looking down here because there are tools over here and that building is quite big. So it might be worth nipping down to here. It's not that far away, not in the car. It's not that far away in our car. So I think that's probably a good location for them. So there we go. They can go back there. And Geek Squad, how are we doing? We are ah, fully healed, which is brilliant. Okay, so Geek Squad, you keep sort of near to the local area. There is a building there that you could look at. So go and scavenge that one. And then maybe do these here, look. So go there and there. And I think by that time, it'll probably be the end of the day. There we go. Wonderful. And I think our research is done. Advanced Woodworks is complete. Right. So how do we now create some houses? What do we need for that? So it's 2.1 wood and 0.3 bricks. OK, bricks. We don't have that much in the way of brick. We've got five bricks. So if we wanted to, say, turn that into a house, that'd be nine wood and two bricks and it would allow four people to live in there, but that would be a proper house. We've got five bricks. What building can we make that's gonna use up five bricks? We're not using for anything else. That one in the corner, that's 10 bricks. Uh, maybe change those two there, look. So we could have that as a house, because that's quite a big, and that's two, and that's, so yeah, those two. They could be houses, okay. I think that's what we do. So that's going to be living quarters for 14 people, but in proper houses. And then eventually, as we figure out how to make bricks, because I'm not entirely sure how we do that, um, we could then start changing the shelters into housing. Maybe that is what we do. I'm very tempted one day to just save up a load of stuff and just go, boop, there you go. You can all live in there. 349 wood, 50 bricks, but that would just be one gigantic living quarters for everybody which would be quite good. Or over there, look, 398 people could live in there. That will be all of our housing sorted forever. And then we don't have to worry about all the housing over here, the little individual bits. 100 bricks at the moment. Yeah, we've got, what was it? 15 or something, five. Okay, we're a little bit short of that. Is there a thing to make bricks? Ah, 
there we go, masonry. So fortified gates and towers have more space to assign guards. Um, it does have bricks on it. Unlock defensive structures, that says, though. It doesn't necessarily say how to make your own bricks. No, I don't know where it is. I can't find it. So I assume it is that. I assume it's the advanced masonry, which would be eight points. That would be eight of our research points. We've got 11 of them right now. So that would be a big chunk of them. Or we could possibly go down here and spend four points on fertilization techniques to allow the use of fertilizers on farms just to make sure we get a lot of yield from our farms, which means we can make lots of lovely food. I think maybe to try to get people's mood up by having proper food, we begin that research. That'll take eight hours. And then next time when that's, you know, we've got more points in, because we've got seven now, in fact, we need one more, uh, we could then unlock advanced masonry. And that would mean that all of the construction research is done, which is quite good. I'd be quite happy about that. But yeah, that would mean that we could then build fancier structures. And I imagine also build some, you know, craft some bricks or whatever. Is there a thing in here for that? Is there a factory to allow us to do such a thing? Chemical plant, arms factory, tool factory. Um, oh yeah, we can get a tool factory now. Oh, possibly we should do that at some point as well. Maybe we should get a tool factory up and running to make some fairly basic tools. I mean, on that corner, that corner would be okay. 13 wood and 15 metal. Um, okay, do you know what? Let's get that requested now. Yes, please. Let's make a tool factory. We're out of wood, which is okay. So I think we've got uh, no people spare. No people spare at all. We've got guards, scientists, nurses. I mean, 14 people in food prep. Maybe not quite so important. So yeah, we'll just, um, um, we'll take four people out of food prep and then we'll just go and chop down some trees, some nearby trees. There's, there's got to be some wood somewhere relatively close by, maybe down one of these streets or something. Um, there, look, there's a tree there. So hang on a minute. If we gather wood, zoom out a little bit. What if we just go sort of around here, look, find any kind of wood in this immediate tech. There you go. There's sort of four trees around there. So one, two, three, four. So our people can run out and do that. And I think with that done, we will wrap things up for now. I think we're looking pretty good. We're looking okay right now. Food is looking, I mean, we've got loads of the canned food. It's not great, but it will do the job. Your current food supply will last for four days. So we do need to keep nipping out and gathering the tinned food, but there's loads of it around because we're in a city, so you know, in a town. So there's quite a lot of that. So that's fine. Ammunition looking good. Got a couple of spare weapons. We could make our own. Got quite a lot of fuel. Yeah, we're running low on construction materials. That's where we are struggling, particularly bricks. I would love to get a giant pile of bricks and a load of wood and save it up and then just, yeah, turn that building, say, into a lovely house. And then everyone could live in there we get rid of the shelters, repurpose those buildings into something else, and that would just make things so much easier. It would just tidy things up a little bit. But there we go. That's going to have to be for another time. We shall try to work toward that, I think. But, uh, but yeah, next time when we come back, we'll carry on doing what we're doing. And yeah, we'll try and get some tools up and running. Get that field done. Nip all the way down here, I think. Yep, yeah, to go and grab some tools from there. A little bit of a trek in the car, but that seems quite fun. And then, yeah, we just keep doing what we're doing. We'll build a barn as well next time. We shall get a barn set up as well and get some lovely chickens, which will be very good as well. So plenty to do when we come back. Hopefully you are still enjoying this. If you are, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in Infection Free Zone. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I'll see you next time. We're going to go around the place with a little chest of tea, possibly. So whilst we're doing our gangstery business, we can offer people some lovely cups of tea or whatever. Hey, cupboard can buy all the teapots that have ever been made i imagine with that money yes you're doing a fine job wonderful hat you've come to the wrong place to try and annoy us we might have to possibly introduce you to some shooty things 